And we're back! Fun fact, that OC Remix track that was just playing before I came back from break, A Champion Has Risen, um, Zenobia's Grave, is actually the music I used when I did my intro video for Ogre Battle 64, wherein I asked viewers they want to take part in it and, you know, uh, have their names added as characters in the game. So, that's why I have that track, specifically. Alright, in the meantime, it seems that Aiko was being kidnapped by an old friend from uh, Gargan Room, I think it was? Well, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? You're a hornless human. we are not be in league with you. Save Aiko. Look what happened to Aiko. The ancestors would be displeased. Tell us if there's anything we can do for you, Kupo. Heal us. Peek inside. This is no way to treat a lady! What's wrong with the wing ornament on your back? What's with this wing ornament on your back? It makes you so easy to pick up. My grandpa gave it to me! Your grubby hands off of it! Oh, shut up. It must be still until, like, he gets here. I don't know, I'm giving her another generic accent. Treasure Kupo! This is Raiko Kupo! Exploda! And an elixir. So yeah, if you ever you know, kept wondering what the heck those treasure chests over there are about, if you peek inside, you find out. So is there anything we can do for you, Kupo? Where's Mog? Mog? Was Mog captured too? Nope, Mog's right here beside me. Kupo! Mog, I need your help to save Aiko. Kupo! I got an idea. It's alright, you won't be in any danger. Kupo! It's no use. Mog has always been a coward. Yeah. Well, we gotta do something. Let's go save her. In just a second. First, I want to double-check that Exploda. I believe... Yeah, Exploda. It's our second Exploda. So never mind. Let's go save her. Alright, let's go. Well, so there's my good sir knight. What have you done, Aiko? She was too rambunctious, so I put her to sleep with a sleeping weed. Sleeping weed, eh? And she's probably sleeping well. If it's my pendant you're after, then leave the others out of it. No can do. This is way too convenient to pass up. Hand over your pendant, and I'll hand over the girl. Kabish. What happens with the pendant that you always have on? I have it. Oh, you really are a good knight. Now cough it up already. First, tell me something. Was it you who stole the village stone? Queen Braun is after the royal pendant. I have another jewel just like it in this village. I'm glad I came all the way looking for it. Now hand it over. Only Aiko was conscious. Hold on. You're plotting something, aren't you? Stay right there. Ugh. You, Black Mage. Uh, me. Bring me the pendant. Remember, do as I say if you value this brat's life. It's a bane. Do it, Vivi. Okay. <laughs> Hold it. Ah! I don't know who you are, but thanks. Good catch, the name. Uh... Yo, can you stand? What's going on? Where's that old hag? That's it! Who are you calling the hag? You! So the tables have turned. Now, now, hand over the jewel you stole. What are you trying to do, Red? I thought you were supposed to be the number one bandit. Love his music. I've seen him before. He's the one with wanted posters all over Treno. <laughs> yep. Remember those wanted posters? I'm not here to help. I just want to be fair. What are you talking about? Leave the jewel and get out of here. What? We're partners on this job. I don't work with hostage taking scumbags. Now get lost. Or would you rather fight me? Mark my words, I'll collect the bounty on you someday. Now, fight me. Just a second here. What's going on? I told you, I'm not here to help. 
I just want to level the playing field. Fair enough. Let's do it. Sedane, it's okay. I was just looking for a way to impress you. That's right. Time for Zidane versus Red Hair. One on one. This red hair guy seems to have quite the honor system. <laughs> quite the code of honor, I should say. He wields a claw. Scarlet Hair is actually his technical name. <laughs> Careful, when he's doing that, he's very hard to hit. His evasion goes through the roof. So you could wait for him to come back, or you could try and take a risk and hit him anyway. I would suggest waiting. Let him land back in the middle, and then take your shot. If you're wondering if there's a good chance, if there's anything good to steal from him, there really isn't. There is something you can steal from him, but it's something you can buy on your own anyway. So it's not a big deal. One suggestion, though, is, if you wish, to just keep stealing from him until you get trance, and then you just unload on him. However, with counterattack and high evasion, you can just rip him to shreds. Oh, well, never mind. There goes trance. He's probably dead in one more hit, but I can use Solution 9, Mio Twister, Stella Circle 5, look at all these amazing abilities. <laughs> they all have such weird names, too. Solution 9. Bada boom, baby. Since you only have 8k health, that finishes you off. Dun, 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 dun. 9 AP, which is useless. <laughs> no, no, wait. He is learning ability up. Never mind, that's not useless at all. I lost. Go on, finish me. Can you stand? Give back what you stole. I go. I got it back. Now finish me. You want to die that bad? I've spared your life. So you won't banish me then. You can go if you want. I won't follow you. Aha. Uh -huh. Trying to trick me, eh? Trick you? I tried to kill you. Why are you letting me go? The fight's over and we're both still alive. Good enough, right? We got back what was stolen from us, after all. Listen to you. Lost to some spineless thief. The sly eagle doesn't kill at whim. Keep that in a safe place. I will. Thanks, Sedane. Well, you're not gonna leave me alone after what just happened, are you? Uh huh. I'm going. I love how she just recruits Vivi to keep an eye on her all the time. Shall we? Alright. We got what we wanted back. I wanna double check where that ability up is. Wow. Almost for halfway there. It's still a lot of points you need though for ability up on Zidane. Thankfully the Brigadine is gonna be the best uh, equipment we're gonna get for him for a little bit, I believe. You're pretty good. Thanks for rescuing her. I'm the best. Thanks for saving Aiko, Koopa. Why don't you get some rest? It'll be good for you, Koopa. Let's rest. Thank you, Mamatos. Koopa. Why are you sitting out here, Mog? She's been quiet the whole time. Not everyone prays aloud. Sidane, let me ask you something. Grandfather told me not to leave the village until my 16th birthday. I want to go with you guys. I really do. You think it'll be okay if I leave the village? Sure. I'll agree if that's what you want. I go, come with us. Forget what your grandpa said. It doesn't matter what I say. You've already made up your mind. Don't you have something to say to her, Vivi? Uh-uh. Remember what you taught me at the Aifa Tree? I said I shouldn't ever lie to myself. I'll try to be more honest with my feelings. 
You should too, Aiko. Hmm. I forgot my own advice. Thanks! I'll wear this jewel as an earring. It'll be okay then, right, Sedane? Memory earring. Aiko? I think Manka wants to talk to you. Kupo. Kupo. What, you think I'm mad at you? I'm furious! You went off without me again. You promised me you wouldn't. What would you do if you went if you went off and got into trouble? Kupo. Oh well, thank goodness we're both alright. Always nice to Manga, aren't you, Aiko? Well yeah, we're best friends after all. We are born on the same day. We've always been together. This is our friendship ribbon. Mog gave it to me. Mog, do you have that ribbon I gave you? Kupo! This is the one I gave Mog. It's too big for her now, but we're both sophisticated ladies. We'll wear them together. Kupo! Maybe then, Sedane, you'll dance with me? Sedane? I didn't know Mog was a girl. <laughs> dagger went. Alright, that earring. Let's double check it real fast. Because I think it's pretty good. Alright, I'm pretty sure that it's only for I go. Let's go ahead and uh, not rearrange things just yet. Easier to find it this way. No, it's not. That was a terrible idea. Your, your inventory gets really full in this game, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I don't even see it on my list. Oh, it's right here. Never mind. I could have sworn it was an add-on. The treasure of the Summoner Tribe, Aiko's Memento. Andrea's Tragedy. Hmm. I wonder what that means. Fear will propel you forward. Do not look back. Do not let failure stifle you. Iron Tail Fratley. Coffee! Koopa Nut. Virgo. Watching the sunset from the Cape, Virgo whispered, My only wish is to be with you now. Libra was a per uh, perverse fellow. It would always walk in the opposite direction of the sun. Have you ever seen Virgo? Hello, Zabugo. You were born the same day, but Aiko came out first. That's why Aiko's always been the big sister. <laughs> They're essentially twins from different parents. Oopsies. I can hear a song. Dagger? From down there? Dagger, are you there? Sedane. So it's okay, keep singing. Because it's our song, right? I'm surprised you found this place. You got the talent to be a bandit. How about you and me team up? Call ourselves the betrothed. My talent's up to snuff, but the name isn't. <laughs> I like her confidence. <laughs> You're really something these days. If I am, I must have gotten it from you. Nah, it's all because you made the effort to learn. See, what, I really like this. I mean, Dagger has confidence in herself, but then she immediately says, no, nah, I, I think it's all because of you. And he's like, no, 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 no. It's not me. You did it all. You made the effort. You, you learned the skills. It's all you. No, it's because you stuck with me. Without you, I couldn't have made it to Lindblom, much less see a whole new continent. Everything I tried to do on my own was a total failure. I couldn't stop my mother. At times, I almost lost hope. You helped me so much. Not just you, either. Yeah, Vivi and Iko helped out at the Aoife tree. Quinn was real helpful when we left the continent. Freya, Steiner, and even Beatrix, who I thought was our enemy. I haven't forgotten. I want to believe everyone is alright, but sometimes I just can't. I hope I can live up to the hopes of everyone who's helped me. You don't have to feel so responsible, Dagger. But I do! Nobody wants you to feel that way. They didn't do it all for you, either. Each was following his own path. His own path? Well, what about you? Huh? What did? Why did you come with me? Ah, uh, that's Ibsen's line. Ibsen? Who's that? Ibsen is a character from a play, but he's a real-life adventurer. I think the play is based on his adventures. It kind of goes like this. 
Ibsen and his good friend Colin worked at a tavern in Treno. One day Ibsen got a letter. The letter was so wet from rain that most of the writing was illegible. The only part he could read, read was, come back home. Nowadays we have airships and stuff, but back then it was really hard to travel. He didn't know why he had to go back. But he had some time off, gathered his things, and set out for his journey home. He walked a thousand leagues in the mist. Sometimes he was attacked by vicious monsters, but he made it, because his friend Colin was by his side. And then, after much time on the road, he had to ask Colin something. Why did you come with me? And what was Colin's answer? Only because I wanted to go with you. Dagger? Can't you... Can't you hear the song? Huh? Yeah, it's that song! How come... Who's singing it? The sunset makes the Eidolon Wall look like it's on fire. I've seen this somewhere before. What? Where? Well, that was ominous. Dagger! Dagger, wake up! Where's Vivi? He's sleeping. I don't want to wake him up. Well? I have no memory of my early childhood. I never really thought about it. Besides, nobody ever told me. I was raised in Alexandria, but only from the age of six or so. Six? So where were you until then? Until then? Until I turned six. I must have been here. My name's Sorry. I still can't remember everything. Some things are like they're shrouded in fog. I do remember one thing. About ten years ago, an unbelievably huge hurricane hit this village. That's as far as I can remember. The day I was with my true mother on a little boat, far from the village. There's a cove behind Iko's house, right? The boat I was on was just like the one there. It all came back to me when I heard the song on the boat. That song is from Maiden Sorry. Maiden Sorry. So that's why no one else knows it. you get to Alexandria? How come you got to be the princess? How come you don't have a summoner's horn? I don't know. Maybe Dr. Tot can help me. I thought the lady who protected me from the storm as the boat lurched about in the waves. A biological mother who died on that boat. The woman she thought was her mother became someone else. And her true mother was already dead. Dagger has lost two mothers. I used to pray every day here at the Edolan Wall. You too? I pray here too, Iko? I recognize some of these pictures. I'm so happy I remembered. Dagger! Welcome home! I'm so glad to be back. <laughs> what? 
Israel is not alone anymore. Yep, yeah, I've made up my mind. Today, Tagger, I'm going with you. We're breaking my promise to Grandpa, but I want to go. Besides, so Grandpa always told me to be honest with myself. I don't know what the future holds, but I want to finish what I came here for. So do I. Let's all go together. Come on, Dagger. Let's go pray together. Alright. I'm not going to name a lot of the summons that are on this wall, because some of them are hints as to what we might get later. I still don't know what I should do. By the time we defeat Kuja and return to Alexandria. Grandpa, I'll be back soon. Oh, you're coming with us? Hey, why the long face? Oh, nothing. My face is always like this. Mug's coming too. Mug! No, oh, he's so cute. Or oh, she's so cute. Yeah, she's so cute. Kubo! Lady Aiko! And don't forget, you always have a home in my name, sorry. Don't let our memory become a burden. You'll always be lighthearted and free. Lots of the Idolin Wall will always lift your heart. What now? You want some more, eh? And Victor lives. The defeated die. You know the rules. Your actions yesterday were incomprehensible to me. Tell me, why didn't you kill me? Well, that's a tough question. Are you really that unhappy that I let you live? I'd rather die as a warrior than live as a beggar. Then come with me. Sedane? What? What are you after? Follow me and maybe you'll understand. Besides, you're pretty good in a fight. We'd use someone like you. We're hunting a man down. Uh, his only constant is his unpredictability. Huh? You say something? Very well. I'll find out what makes you so strong. What's your name? Call me what you will. Huh, Lanny called you Red, right? <laughs> no. We're gonna call him Amarant. His full name is actually Amarant Coral. Some call me the Flaming Armorant. Right, fine. We'll call you Armorant. More the merrier. Let's decide our marching order. At this point, because Iko still has skills to learn and Dagger does not, we're gonna replace Dagger with Armorant. Armorant is a frontline combatant, much in the vein of Zidane, only he's got some unique aspects. Where Zidane is a thief, Armorant would be more akin to a ninja. Alright, we'll do fine. Just follow me. We'll get some more information in a bit. Next stop, the Aoife Tree. So now we're going to head back to the Aoife Tree. First though, of course, we're going to make sure things are ready with Armorant. Amarant starts with Cat's Claws, which give him Chakra and Counter. You can switch those out right now for Spare Change and Counter. Don't worry about Counter, it's not a big deal. Pretty much all of his uh, weapons give him it, much in the way that High Tide works for Quina. Obviously, we need to give him a hat of some kind, so let's give him Undead Killer. We are about to go to the Aoife Tree, so we might need it. Beast Killer. Flea Gill is a little too weak. It, the wrists are, and the wrists will actually have, uh, Flea Gill will be on other equipment later in the game. So starting off with the leather wrist is not a bad idea. Uh, let me double check these claws. Poison knuckles as status of poison in case you weren't surprised. And yes, we did buy those earlier. Uh-huh, chakra, but we're already learning that from the cat's claws, so getting it here too would be a bit messy. It, what we actually want to do is start with the Brigadine right away so we have ability up. And yes, Amarant Coral is the one who learns Return Magic. Germanius, uh, Germanus Boots start off with Alert and HP up. Let's double check if there's something else we want. See, Desert Boots will also get Flea Gill. So, if you want to get Flea Gill, that's another option. Uh, Insomniac, Clear Headed, Maneater. Maneater would be useful, but some of these are only 10 ability points, so they're really easy to learn. So let's start with the Germanus boots first. Let's go ahead and do that, do that. Counter, ability up. 
and Return Magic. Returns magic used by the enemy. Um, this is actually not as useful as you might think at certain points. Often the magic that enemies like to use is magic is uh, elements that they're strong against. Uh, that said, Armorant is already in the front row, so let's check out his stats. I didn't do this for Aiko, or most of the characters, actually. His attack is actually fairly high. Not as high as the Danes, but keep in mind, we have a lower weapon right now equipped. His speed is about the same. His strength isn't quite as high but because uh, Zidane has a special accessory. So yeah, a lot of armor stats are uh, weaker. He also has Flare and Throw. Flare is his special abilities, like Chakra. Restores HP and MP to one party member. And Throw is exactly what it sounds like. So, like I said, he's more akin to a ninja. He has abilities that allow him to throw weapons at enemies. He, they're also throw specific items that you can find. Uh, they're actually, I think they're, they're sort of like rings. We'll start seeing them more often in shops and the like. Uh, but they're items that are specifically meant for use with the throw command. So they're meant, uh, so Armorant has something to throw besides your very valuable synthesizing new weapons. Honestly, I've I've always done a bad job of making use of characters with the throw command in any game I play that's Final Fantasy that has that kind of mechanic because they're just you're using inventories. You're using your inventory and you got to keep up with it and it I just feel like a a gill or a zenny or whatever you call it uh upkeep to making a character useful kind of sucks to me. I don't like it. But that might just be me being overly efficient and less so that it's not a useful mechanic. It's actually a very useful mechanic. And if you know how to use it right, it can be scary. Goblins! We are going to get into a, uh, fights along the way, and we're going to take advantage of them because we are in desperate need of AP for armorant. Oops. I'm trying to remember. There we go. You can hide the UI, by the way, if you hold down the square button. It's something I forgot existed. Oops. Armored. If you wanted to wait for that friendly monster to do it now, that's actually totally an option, I believe. I don't think that you get cut off from that monster heading to the Aoife tree the second time. So if you wanted to wait and give it to Armorant, like I said, you could have a better uh, plan for how to deal with these than I do. I go by the notes of just as soon as I can do stuff, so. There's still a little mist, but at least there's no more coming out. That must mean Kuja isn't here yet. What happened to the mist? We beat the beast that breathes it! So much for the mist, Continent! No more mist. You must possess incredible powers to accomplish such a feat. Sidane! There's a silver dragon! It's him! He flew from the ruins of Bermesia riding a silver dragon. It's Kuja, alright, and he's riding that dragon. Oh, how I've longed for this day. The day I might finally cast away the mask and reveal my true self. Now it no longer matters if the Aoife tree is liberated. It means nothing to me. Love his music. <laughs> the tree is so beautiful. Its beauty becomes the great mother tree that lives among the stars. Silver Dragon. Let us watch the drama unfold from the trunk of Aoife. No one shall interrupt us there. I just love Kuja so much. He, he's very overdramatic. But it's kind of the point. He loves drama. He loves plays. He loves stories. And he has no problem being the villain of one. Who do I want to take with me to fight Kuja? Keep current party members. So if you wanted to rearrange your party, you could do it again there. I recommend the party that I've got. 
there's a pretty specific reason as to why, beyond just that uh, Armorant needs more experience and AP. Besides, if you remember from our last trip here, if all the enemies are the same, then you only really need one white mage, and you're gonna wreck shit. <laughs> Oh my, a Draco zombie. Whatever shall I do? I'm ready. Stab it. That hurts. Fight it. Eight MP for an insta kill on an enemy that big? I'm not gonna complain. Undead killer learned. Beast killer learned. HP plus 10% learned. You learn some pretty quickly as long as you get that brigadine equipped early. Undead killer. Let's give him man eater and insomnia. Let's give him glass armlet. And give him that. Actually, do I have you with alert? I do. I don't need you to have alert. Yeah, you don't need anything else, really. Alright, that's fine. the trunk if we go any farther. Pooja went down that trunk. Say it's Sedane. How are we gonna get up there? Can we climb there? Not me. Me neither. I don't think I can either. We came all this way. Now what? What's the problem? You should just go by yourself. We gotta go face Kuja together. How'd this wimp end up beating me? Hey! Hey, Armorant, watch where you're walking. Who hesitates is lost. Best remember that. Well, I prefer my way or the highway. Whatever. Like, you actually have a plan. Oh yeah, smarty pants! Don't forget you're the one who lost his Zidane! Shut up, brat. A plan? Huh. That's right, Armorant. You owe me one, right? It's payback time. Shoot. There's some gargant grass around here, so a gargant can't be far. Why don't you catch one for me? Then we can all get, get on and ride it to the top. Why should I do that when I can just take the kids up myself? Huh? Why don't I ever let this dimwit beat me? Hey! Whoa! He sure has spirit. Alright, Dagger, I'll just carry you a piggyback. Hey, Zidane, wait just a... The weak lose their freedom to the strong. Such is the way of the strong. And it is the providence of nature that only the strong survive. That is why I needed strength. I learned of powers that would daunt even him. Over ten years ago. Such a long time. Now my forces are ready to strike. Ah, the suspense is terrible. So they've come this far, have they? Perfect. I'll warm up on them until the elephant lady shows up. The elephant lady, by the way, is brawn, in case you didn't make that connection. Thanks, Armorant. Now we're even. Show me what you guys can do. There's Kuja. Alright, get ready, guys. Kuja, maker of black mages. Any enemy of Stain is an enemy of mine. Mine, mine. I almost I lost it for a second there. Okay, let's go. As much as it really fits to have Dagger in the party for this event. 
You are Kuja, correct? My name is... Princess Garnet to Alexandros. I wish to ask you something. Is it really you who persuaded my mother to start the war? The war that threw the entire Miscon into chaos? And you made everyone! The Black Mage is an instrument of war? Oh dear. The br princess is such a bloodthirsty little puppet. I don't have the power to do such a thing. I just gave them a little recipe. Begin with a broth of mist, add fermented souls, and boil. Then pour genuine black magic into a mixing bowl and heat to... Stop it! I'm not done telling you how to make soulless toys out of the dregs of souls. Dregs of souls? You mean mist? First you don't want to listen, now you start asking questions. Oh, brother. But you're not ready yet. Why you? Don't you feel anything? Take it in the lives of so many. Spare me the lecture. Lions come and go all the time. What's the big deal? Speaking of warmongers, why? What about the mother of yours, princess? She said she won't feel alive until she has everything. It breaks my heart to see such greed. The war was my fault? No, no, your mother wanted it. All I did was give her a little push. Fire! My mother was sweet and kind. You changed her. <laughs> so the curtain rises. Perfect, my canary. Let me show you the truth about your mother. First act. The end of the ugly desire. It's showtime. <laughs> so you finally decided to show your girly face here. You're all that stands between me and total domination. <laughs> but I haven't forgotten all you've done for me. I'll re in return I'll show you the ultimate power. Attention all hands! One of the Black Mages focus all their magical energies into a single spell. Lay suppressing fire on Kuja until the casting is finished. Fire! Fire it will! Orders from Her Majesty. Black Mages, focus all your magical power into a single spell. I, I can't believe it. Your mother isn't satisfied with just one continent. Her ugliness and stupidity are truly impressive. Ah, everything is proceeding as I've foreseen. What are you talking about? You're just the opening number. Time for the real show. We won't let you get away! The mist may be created no more, but it still lurks in caves and forests, right? Huh? I can make monsters with magic. Come for a spawn of the mist. He's right, mist is not completely gone from this world. Even what little of it still clings, apparently Kuja can control enough to create these. Kuja seems to know exactly what the mist is and what it's capable of. Oh wait! I think these are considered undead. Let's test this theory! Yeah, mist attack. Let's just see. Damn it. There goes that idea. We'll try again. Body temp! She still has level up to learn, though. So, two of your enemies are duking it out. Why not just leave them and finish off the winner? My money's like Kuja. One of those enemies happens to be someone's mother. <laughs> Foolish brawn. Your prize cannons are useless against the spawn of the mist. 
<laughs> Even a fool like you knows that there's only one path you can take, right? Stupid elephant lady. Why do you hesitate? Very well. I'll make the first move. I'll give you a clean target. You can't miss. Miss. <laughs> Silver Dragon. Descend. Emerald's right. Let's split before we get dragged in. No! I can't! I can't let anything happen to my mother! Dagger? Today and I... I have to save her! Uh, Dagger? She extracted Eidolons from you and started a war! I still don't want her to die! But she didn't care about what one bit whether you lived or died! You don't have to call her mother anymore! She's my only mother! I don't care if you don't understand! Aiko, you said that there was an idol in prison near you, right? Uh, yeah! Please, tell me where. It's a long way down. See the place with lots of roots? That's it! There, I see it! Tiger, don't go alone! Alright, I'm gonna test my theory. I believe these guys are considered undead. So, let's take advantage of that if possible. Though between Sedate and Armorant, they could easily take care of this thing. Uh, in the meantime, Chakra. Just to see how powerful it is. My impression was that it's not very... That's... not insignificant! Fire! Return magic. Fire off. I didn't check. But that might have cost him MP, but I kind of doubt it. Yep, they are considered undead. So, same strategy as before if you want. Just wait until it's Igo's turn and knife him to death. As much sense as that makes. More Peridos. Perda, Peridos. <laughs> This is turning into quite a show. Anyone can get emotional at a time like this. Give her a break. Sedan, let's go. Dagger's in danger all by herself. But yeah, let's go after her. Alright, so this point is actually a very good opportunity for grinding if you wish to take it. You see, um, you're in a situation. Oh, okay. Well, the bandana still has things to teach him. So don't worry about that yet. However, you, you're still learning regen level up. Rival best, it's the best you can get. Alright, so we're still good everywhere else. Um, if you use Armorant's Chakra on uh, on Ico. Hold on, let me slow down for a sec. It, the movement here is just all or nothing. Either you're moving and you accelerate and then start going faster, or you just stop. If you stop, you get caught by Mystodons. These Mystodons, however, if you kill them with life and Chakra Iko, Chakra will restore her MP more than you're using, uh, than life will work, than life costs. See? Much more. So, armor it's actually really, really good and can almost replace ethers if you use his abilities uh, that way. That said, that also keeps him out of the attacker role quite a bit. If you wanted to use uh, Insomnia, by the way, now would probably be a good time if you're going to do that sort of grind. I'm actually kind of considering it, because Armorant is way behind on abilities, and so is Aiko. Well, not. Aiko's less so. Aiko just has a lot of add-ons that she needs to equip. Actually, you know what? She's learned Phoenix. This is... except for Medane's Ring, she's pretty sad. But I'm gonna still wait here, and we'll we'll keep the strategy up for a little bit. Because that was enough for Armorant to be able to equip his next weapon, the spare uh, with spare change. 
Now I just want to do a double check. Spare change causes non-elemental damage to an enemy using gill. So, if you don't mind spending gill for throwing items, well, you might as well spend gill to adjust to straight up attack people with. Vivi! Make with Pyros. Life. See, you, you get a pretty simple strategy building pretty quickly. Boom. Unfortunately, if Armorant doesn't get his turn very early, then that also means he's not uh, refilling people's MP. So if you want to do this strategy, you're going to have to wait for Armorant's turn one of once. Antibody was learned. Let's give him add status, which will be very useful with the current weapon. So take off Maneater and... Not Undead Killer. So we'll just not worry about add status for now. Maybe if you gain some more ability points. We have ability points. If I get rid of man eaters, they're a better option for you. Insomniac is an option. Stone Killer. <laughs> Don't need Stone Killer. Most of the enemies that you could use Stone Killer on can also die from just. Uh, from other options. Let him off Somniac. That'll do. Alright, now we'll start moving. Basically, the biggest concern I had was I wanted to get a new weapon on Alright. Oh, even if you're going at full speed, like this, by the way, you're going to get caught once in a while from behind, because the Mystodons, they accelerate real fast once they spawn. At least I think so. Hmm, I guess I killed enough of them. But they totally keep coming. Oh my, that statue looks familiar. I sense an Eidolon's power. Now, now I can save my mother. Please help me. Did you received Aquamarine. No! I can't save my mother with this Eidolon. Dagger! What's wrong? Can't you free it? No, I have it. I sense it's a great Eidolon, but... but... I don't believe it! This is the legendary sea serpent Leviathan! Leviathan? An Eidolon wipes out its enemies with a huge tidal wave! I'm sorry, Dagger. No, it's not your fault. But my mother's still in danger. If you can't see the problem with this, Ron's coming in on... ships. <laughs> So, summoning a tidal wave to try and stop Kuja. Not best idea. Isn't Her Majesty ready yet? All remaining ammunition was spent on the last wave of monsters. Next wave will chew us up if, unless we pull out now. That is not our decision. Back to your post, soldier. Notice the uh, level 3, the type C uh, mage, is glowing now. Your Majesty, the Black Mages have completed their preparations. That insolent whelp. Now I can finish him off. Come! Draconic Seedling. Bahamut. King of Dragons. She made Kuja bleed. That's about it. I've heard the stories. I never thought summoning could be so powerful. Zidane is after their power. I'd better watch out. Wow. Now we can win. Mother will have to die. 
Like, oh, don't you think? What's wrong? Mog, she's terrified. How come? Don't you know? That's the last Eidolon. Bahamut the Dragon King, he'll win for sure. Will he now? Blood. <laughs> Excellent, Mohammed. Power, mobility, you are truly the best. Even hurt me a little. And you, Brawn. Your tragic role in this drama now comes to an end. I'm sure you'll enjoy the second act from your soul's hellish prison, since the stage will be your former home. The final act will take us away from Gaia. I will kill my nemesis with my own hand. <laughs> Everything is going according to plan. Thus ends Queen Brawn. I don't know why Bahamut attacked the one who summoned him. But we found Queen Brawn on the beach. Next to her escape pod. I forgot who was talking for a sec. She could hardly move. I thought she'd come to a stop any second. I hate Kuja a lot. But I hate Brawn a lot too. So much that I wanted this to happen to her. I should be happy, but... Once I saw Dagger start to cry, I didn't know how I should feel. I kind of wanted to cry, too. I can hear my daughter's voice. Yes, Mother, I'm here. Right here. I am empty now. Free. Free of that terrible greed. Mother. I haven't felt this way since I saw that play with you and your father. I led Alexandria down the path of ruin. The people will be happier with you on the throne. We went back to Alexandria on Queen Bronze escape pod. We also brought Dagger's mother with us. Notice how he didn't say Bronze body or anything like that. Vivi specifically thinks not as Bronze, Queen Bronze, the person who's wronged him and, and caused so much destruction. He wanted to remember her as Dagger's mother. This way, princess. Steiner, Beatrix. How horrible that her life had ended this way. I still can't believe all that has happened. Princess, it was my... No, it was my fault. Thank you, both of you. I must now carry the burden of ruling Alexandria alone. Will both of you please help me during this, my time of need? Yes, Princess. Certainly. Thank you. Princess, there's a wreath of roses, your mother's favorite. The townspeople sent it as an offering to the Queen's grave. True Queen Braun may have been acting quite erratic before her death. 
The people are still very fond of her, as you can see. Father, I shall become a great queen. Queen Garnet Tell Alexandros. And this is a good time to take our next break as we move on to the next disc. So, get up, stretch, whatever you need to do, be able to keep watching comfortably. And I will be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 